Many will never forget the explosion of the space shuttle Challenger, Hawaii's first astronaut, Ellison Onizuka, and six others died. Now, 36 years later, a large piece of the wreckage was found. This is a piece of the space shuttle Challenger recently discovered at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. According to the Associated Press, divers filming a television documentary about World War II in March found the fragment roughly 15 by 15 feet in size buried in the sand. NASA's Kennedy Space Center confirmed the discovery Thursday. Yeah, it was quite a surprise, um, you know, 36 years later and uh, they find this debris. Uh... Claude Onizuka is the brother of Ellison Onizuka, Hawaii's first astronaut and one of the seven killed when the space shuttle Challenger exploded just 73 seconds after liftoff, January 28, 1986. Millions had tuned in to watch the launch on live TV that day. Well, at the time of the explosion, you know, we, we didn't really uh, realize what what would be found, if they would be found. According to the Associated Press, about 47% of the Challenger space shuttle has been recovered. The latest piece, one of the largest found in decades, is still at the bottom of the ocean near Cape Canaveral, Florida. In a statement on its website, NASA says this discovery gives them an opportunity to pause again, to uplift the legacies of the seven pioneers they lost, and to reflect on how this tragedy changed them. Onizuka has faith NASA will do what is right. Whatever NASA plans to do is going to be something honorable to the uh, Challenger crew and Allison. Um, so, you know, we know that it's going to be in good hands once it's recovered. Yeah. Onizuka says he thinks of his brother often. Even though it's 36 years later, um, a lot of times you, know, you think about it, it seems like it was just yesterday. Ellison Onizuka was the first Japanese-American and the first person from Hawaii to fly into space. He was a hero to many in the islands, an example of what could be accomplished. And his brother says he never forgot where he came from. Every time he came back to Hawaii, he always wanted to visit schools and uh, talk to the children of Hawaii. His message to the children was to try hard, study hard, and don't be afraid to dream. Onizuka says his family is grateful to see Ellison's legacy live on with Ellison Onizuka Kona International Airport at Keahole and the Onizuka Center for International Astronomy Visitor Information Station on Mauna Kea, both named after him. He really was a pioneer. He really was, and I remember that day. It was such a tragic event, but amazing that they're still finding yes. you know, pieces of the Challenger today.